Yikes! Don't sneak your what? A ship, you say? Ooh, this could be serious. That's the last time I ever buy a secondhand spyglass. Is that fresh meat I spy? Tremble, mortal, before the mighty skulls of scum. It's been longer than a rat's tail since hey, I last said you shouldn't be back. Because it's the rules, pirate. that's why. Oh, oh I um, I want something that. too bad I'm still... But never mind all that. Meat stew. You'll be here sure to enough, she told me to add... I don't know why. Can't help you there. I don't know what the... Of course, as soon as they... Yeah, in the barrel. I gotta... You know. Because it's the rule. Well, if you're here to prove your worth to us, too bad. Ahoy there, fancy pants. The only general store on Melee Island. The storekeeper gets a little paranoid around pirates. Then again, I did kind of break into his safe once. Maybe he's got the right idea. Thank you. 
Hey, that's my cargo. I thought it'd be fish food by now. Looks like I'm back in business. This meet and greet ticket will get you an audience with the legend of Monkey Island. Only one in existence, but I'd say you've earned it. useful and start on the meat stew. The recipe is on the table.
you. Yeah, you. Want to see something hilarious? There's a pack of piranha poodles in this alley that can't stand the sound of this thing. Watch. It's an alleyway. Not too glamorous, but I guess they have their uses. This one seems oddly mysterious. Oh, what's the matter? Can't you reach your lovely pony dindins? That's enough, you mangy mutts. Go lay down. I said that's enough. We guard the governor now, not you pathetic pooches. So get used to it. Now move along and don't start any trouble. I'm on break. Cause too much trouble and you might end up in prison. There's not much to do here except count the rats. My pal Otis seems to spend a lot of time stuck down here. Hands to yourself.
what a view. That big church is where I came face to face with the dread pirate LeChuck in his true form. Good thing I had a secret weapon. Fancy pants. Run in a furniture store. Hey, enough with the furniture store. I didn't spend all that time locked up just to collect chairs. I want to have an adventure. And I want to sell nested mahogany tables at affordable prices. Hey, that's stupid. You're stupid. You know what? Fine. Stay here and have your stupid furniture store. I hope it makes you happy. I just, I really, I thought we were friends. What are you doing? I was just getting comfortable. Although, if this is about getting to Threepwood, I'm in. I've got a score to settle. But first, I'll need some kind of body. But not just any body. A magnificent body, worthy of bearing my terrifying demonic countenance on a new campaign of terror and destruction. <laughs> It's so tranquil, so pleasant. I hate it. You know, I've grown fond of this place. Maybe I won't destroy it when I conquer the Caribbean. Those guards seem kind of familiar to me. Oh well. Not my problem. This old thing hasn't worked in years. And I should know. Hey, seeing all these ghostly guards gives me an evil idea. If you can get me a new body, I could pretend to be one of them and sneak you into Threepwood's place. What do you say? 
There's gotta be a convenient corpse lying somewhere around here. You, old guy, kneel before Murray the demonic talking skull. Or not. Say, that body looks like a good fit for me. Why not let me take it for a test drive, and I'll get you to Guybrush. This place has become a real tourist trap. Looks like a dead end. Good thing I'm already dead. Ah, a rotten place of torment and despair. I already feel at home. Gunpowder gummies are a bad habit. They'll blow your teeth right out of your skull. Hmm. Nope, can't get her started. Seems to be missing a few necessary parts. Be ridiculous. You must think we were born yesterday. You'll need to do better than that to fool us, Bone Rain. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
What be ye wanted? Now that's the sort of grand, but pretty. Oh, I should it. The days of. What's the matter? Governor, the old. Ah! But there is. They say it the whole. Oh, really? Only. It's just one more. I assume you've got quail. Of course. Now that's the sort of. Back again? You've decided to chance your luck. Mm. Now, I. You mean pervade the pike? Ha! If you're peckish, it. Each of us under. But since that's what. Well, there's no need to be like. Ah, pay him. Only he could. Back so soon. They say the name Scum. Some who can. Say... Test by which trouble that would eventually. He may not. And I. A devastating widow. Elaine Mock. She was. That's need. Ah, but. At last, my new reign of demonic terror can... Oh, 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 ah, ah, easy now. It's, uh, been a while since I had limbs to worry about. All right, here we go. I'm getting the hang of this. Let's get you into that mansion. Now... Marvel at my mastery of impersonation! Yar, one of the governor's guards, I be. I be adoring the legend of Monkey Island so much, and, and, oh, forget it. Well, that about does it for my shift. You know what to do. Keep everyone out of the mansion at all costs. No exceptions. Yeah, yeah. Do I tell you how to do your job? You okay, Walt? You sound weird. Oh, uh, uh, it's um, allergies. You know, from the poodles. Oh, right. Stupid mutts almost took a bite out of me last week. Our diabolical scheme is working perfectly. Get up to the mansion and find Threepwood. I'll keep watch. Revenge shall soon be mine. <laughs> treasure I need, Plunder Bunny. I'm here to rescue you. My hero. Oh, you're the greatest pirate who ever Some of the most priceless treasures so ever looted are on display here. Skipper, I came to steal one, right and that's how I met my Plunder Bunny. I don't think so. The only thing you've got a date with is my sword. Ha! Go away, please. 
Not today, thank you. Important governatorial business going on. I told you, no more autographs. Leave me alone. Would you be quiet? My wife is sleeping. Ah! Look, Ludikins, we have company. They must want to hear all about your courageous deeds. Oh, but honey, pumpkin, I'm busy with my memoirs. I can't be disturbed or I'll miss my deadline. Now, now, we mustn't be rude. And look, they have a bean greet ticket. Oh, all right. Welcome to the official Legend of Monkey Island meet and greet event. Your once in a lifetime chance to hear all the seafaring adventures of the mighty pirate Kybrush Threepwood. Straight from the legend himself. No food or drink permitted during the event. Please keep your hands and feet inside the mansion at all times. The trial and authorities are not responsible for any loss of property, injury, or death incurred during the presentation. The legend begins right here on Melee Island, on the day of my arrival. The pirate leaders immediately recognized my natural talents. And so did Governor Marley, who was instantly swept off her feet. Unfortunately, there was one pirate who refused to acknowledge my obvious greatness. The ghost pirate LeChuck who was also smitten with Elaine and spirited her away to the mysterious Monkey Island. Gathering a loyal crew and the finest ship available, I sailed in search of LeChuck's pirate lair. Having single-handedly concocted a powerful root beer to destroy ghost pirates, I cornered LeChuck and gave him the biggest spritzing of his afterlife. I kept the bottle. It's one of my most treasured possessions. Unfortunately, it's true what they say. You can't keep an undead, obsessive, vindictive, demonic sea scourge down. I had to tangle with LeChuck again before finally ridding the world of his evil once and for all. I returned to Monkey Island triumphant, married my beloved Elaine, and we set sail on our honeymoon. Then, uh, um, well, but then, we, um, why can't I remember? And what was with that weird fog anyway? Did I... Um, anyway, uh, once everyone learned of my heroic deeds, they insisted I become governor of Melee Island. And that concludes your premium meet and greet session. Cheers! Thanks for stopping by! <sighs> oh, be sure to check out our exclusive merchandise. Uh, we have gifts for, for the whole family. Oh, and please, leave quietly. My wife is very, very asleep. Anchor, you barnacle brain buffoons, and prepare to make land. There's treachery afoot. Well, well, what have we here? An unwanted intrusion into my masterful delusion. Threepwood always was pathetically easy to manipulate. One side convinced him he was a mighty pirate hero. His raging ego made all this over themselves to deliver me this sword. They couldn't wait to help their beloved pirate lord. It's not about the gold. It's about for all eternity. And once this burning blade is restored, those ones
must be even darker than you look! Thanks to you, Luchuk has withdrawn, and Rootbeer has rid this place of his evil influence. The power of Mojo can return at last. We have much to discuss, but I sense you may have unfinished business here on Mele Island. When you are ready to depart, return to me here. I shall be waiting. much to discuss. As you have learned, the memory of this island has become a prison for Guybrush. A cage crafted from his own vanity and given life by the sea of the damned. He is so beguiled, he does not even notice the absence of his wife. But Guybrush and Elaine are not the only ones in peril. LeChuck has come to know the Sea of Thieves and envies the power and status of its pirate lord. If he is not stopped, then he will continue to seek that power for himself. But LeChuck's lair lies deep beneath Monkey Island. 
And only Guybrush knows the way. Do not lose hope. There is a way to clear the head and free the heart of Guybrush Threepwood. But it will take time to prepare. There are those in the living world who will wish to know all that you now know. I shall send them word of my plan. And when the time is right, I sense they will seek your help once more. For now, I shall return you to your ship. Guybrush owes you a great debt of gratitude. Next time we meet, I shall make certain he repays it. <laughs> <laughs>